Yes. Can you turn to Luke? 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 All right, Luke chapter 4. Yeah. Mm. Want to get Anne the prophet? Huh? Yeah. Don't you go to her. Sure. Okay. Now, you said a good question when you said that. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me reiterate something. And then I want you to explain Luke 14. And tell me why, and you said it right, that God could use a donkey, why he couldn't use me. In 1980, I was dying to a cancer. The Lord told me. And I, if he raised me up, he's going to use you mightily. I've been on to everyone up in here. We've gone to the Apostolic Church, and I'm going to the ordained ministry. Now, if you got a problem with women to the reach, I think you need to check the book. Because if God will use a man, I know. Because the book, Genesis, he said, may both of them, male and female. So why am I so important for you that I can't hear? Because I don't want, I'm a soul in my church. And I don't want men to the Lord not glorify myself there. But I, I heard from God. I need not hear from me. Not my pastor, no other pastor. But I heard from God as well. So you're straight to read the loop. Read the loop, chapter 4. Let's go right there. Right there. Very good. Right there. Come on, brother. My kind of scripture. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of Luke. Luke 4. No, I'm going to get Anna. Anna. Let's go Anna. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. No, 2. It's the 2. Right. All right. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Give me verse 36. Wow. All right. And there was one Anna, a prophetess. There was one Anna, a prophetess. A prophetess. <laughs> the female prophet, right? A scientist is a female prophet, right? I would never say that. But if you look it up, you'll find out with the female. I stick with Bible. I'm sticking with Bible too. My Bible. Now let me say this. Hey, the only thing we're going to deal with is the Bible. Is Bible. Okay. Bible, Bible never said nowhere. All right. That a prophetess was a female prophet. Is a female prophet. I was in it by the King James. Just a minute now. Just a minute. Okay. I don't mind you asking questions, right. but we're going to have it for you. We're going to have it. That's what we're going to do. Right. But the Bible says all things are done in this land and order. Right. And everywhere I go, there shall be order. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, a prophetess is a woman used of God to foretell the event that's going to come. We believe in women prophets. We have no problem in God using a woman to prophesy. That's right. So for the one of prophets, right. use the God to foretell the event that's going to come. That's not preaching. Amen. That's not preaching. I'm not talking about women prophets. I believe that with all my heart. But let's talk about preaching. If God called and sent a woman to preach, what office in the area of being a preacher does she hold according to the Bible? If you say she's an apostle, I'm going to make you find a female apostle. If you say she's a bishop, I'm going to make you find a female bishop. If you say she's an evangelist, I'm going to make you find where one woman is evangelized to anybody. It is given to a woman to prophesy. But there is no way that says one woman in the Bible preaches to anybody. She prophesied truth. But name one woman. I make it easy on Name one woman where the Bible says she preached. Who is she? I'm waiting for you to finish telling me about Anna. You didn't read. What you're working on, Anna, being a prophetess. Okay. She what wasn't is a prophetess. The Bible was with a prophetess there? Yes. I told you, you told me what wasn't that. My Bible you told me it was a female, a prophetess was a female prophet. What's that? In my Bible, I was showing you here. Right, read it. Read it. Read it. What a prophetess is? I said she's a female prophet. Yeah. Read it.
you may do a ministry. Well, yeah, well, I agree. Well, we were in Luke chapter 2 at the end. Yes, you did. Yes, and that's the Bible. Right? Oh, there was one Anna, a prophet. Yeah. The daughter of the new world. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Asia. And when you please there, we'll get 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Uh -huh. I want you to hear me well. Uh -huh. Listen. Well, there was one Anna, a prophet. Yeah. The daughter of the new world of the tribe of Asia. Uh -huh. She was of a great age. Then with her husband seven years of her virginity. Uh, and she was a widow of about four score and four years. Yes. Which departed not from the temple. Uh, but served God with fasting. Served God with fasting. And prayers. And prayer. Night and day. What did she preach? 38. Go to 38. Go to verse 38. Verse 38. Yes. And she coming in that instant gave thanks. Uh, likewise unto the Lord. Yes. And spake of him. Yes. In Jerusalem. Which he preached. She didn't speak and be a redemption, so that everybody came in the temple. She was telling about the new thing. The Bible says she was showing redemption. Was, what was that? She was telling them about being saved. And spake of him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to you. That's right. And that is And if they will learn it, it is plain in the scripture. That's right. Well, I don't have to make a statement and then say, well, read between the lines. No, no. It's plain right here. That's right. If they will learn it, they will learn it. Anything. That's the master of them. Let them go home. At home. As the husband were. How do you fuck the fuck out of a woman and try to speak? Boy, it is a shame. For women to speak in the church. Yeah. 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 But what about but the Bible? Bible says it is a shame. It is a shame for women to speak in the church. For women that you do with the subject of women, right? Yeah. 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 Keep reading. Keep reading. Yeah. 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 What is a shame for women to speak in the church? Right? Yeah. What? What? You're dealing with the subject of women, right? Right. right. How do the Bible say what? From the word of God. I'm from you? What son was he dealing with, church? Yeah. And he said, what? He ain't the word of God. And the word? I'm from you. The word don't oh, come you. from you. That's right. Now, what did he talk about the myth? You want the son for you to myth? You think God will use you? Yeah. you? That's what the key word. That's what the word is. 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 Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16 and 17, that's where I'm at. 